match to BJ Ussery in an incredible, incredible uh, match there. And then Jason Brown, which is Jay Bird as he's known by, lost to a gentleman by, uh, by the name of Scott Raven. And he'll be up next on the TV table. Um, guys, my name is Stephen Wyatt, and I have Mr. Stephen Fair in the booth. How you doing, Stephen? I am great, man. Thank you for having me. Awesome. So uh, you're kind of local to this area, um, at least right now, so you know a few of these players. I'm learning them as I've uh, been coming down here. Uh, this room opened up roughly about, I think, a little more than three months ago. And yeah, it's, uh, it's not been here for too long, and I think all these tables are fairly new too, right? Yes, sir, they are. Yeah. Yep. And uh, Raven uh, helped do all these. So Scott's a table mechanic here locally in the area. Okay, and gotcha. And a fantastic player. So not only is he a great player, but he knows how to make a, a table play the right way. Yes, sir. That's a dangerous man right there. Yes, sir. You're going to see him on the next match. He's definitely going to show you a few things. And we're going to see a push. And uh, this is kind of tough because, yeah, I think you almost want to uh, maybe mass A, but you have to get the curve before it hits the rail. We're going to see an Efren Reyes special here. It's got a curve before it hits the rail. That was a good shot. It was. Got just a Spun little bit of a hook. Spin. And look at the shape. Yeah. Wow. He didn't even jack up much on that. Just stun it. No, nah, he just side kinda, spin. a little bit of elevation and uh, a nice little stun stroke. Yeah, so originally I'm from Myrtle Beach. And uh, most of my life I lived in Lexington, South Carolina. But I uh, took a job traveling across the country fixing automotive shops for a living and ended up on the west coast out in Seattle, Washington for about eight years. Gotcha. Just got back two years ago. Oh, what a shot Almost there. Free. So Efren does something better than just about anybody I've ever seen and it's just the application of side spin mm -hmm. and how to manipulate that ball. A lot of pros will tell you I don't use a whole lot of side spin. I use uh, you know top bottom and, and stun. Uh, I don't use a ton of side spin. Efren is not that way. He uses side spin. He uses it very well. Almost, he's really reliant on the side spin because he just the way that he strikes the ball. And and he's one of the only players I've ever seen use just side spin on almost every shot, and he uses it so methodically. Look at that right there. Just right, yep. yeah, just In like perfect that. Perfect shape. And it's very deliberate. If he's putting mm -hmm. side spin on it, he there's a reason. He knows exactly where it's going. Exactly. And this is why he is. One of the greatest has ever touched a cube. For sure. He got a little short, but he's still going to be okay. Definitely. Definitely. I had the luxuries of uh, watching him shoot last night a lot in our match. Yeah. Um, it was exciting. Um, I really wanted to see what he would bring if I played a little safety with him. And, you know, being a low rated player, I'm trying to learn. And uh, it was interesting, but I, I fancy one pocket. You know, and I saw um, I saw some uh, some people saying, oh, you know, what's this guy doing on there? Well, one guys, I'm just gonna throw this out there. If you're willing to put in your hundred, you deserve to be showcased just like anybody else. And two, Efren's a freaking legend. Um, if you, I mean, B.J. Usry yesterday when he was playing him was shaking. Mm -hmm. B.J. Ustry is a 760 Fargo player. He is a phenomenal player. He beat Efren. He beat him twice. He, was, he was nervous. Mm -hmm. So it's common for any player to be nervous playing somebody like Efren, somebody like SVB or Skylar Woodward. So sure. um, let me just tell you, if you're dogging on a player for maybe not playing his best game against a legend, um, maybe you should... Uh, you know, put yourself up there and see how you feel because it's not easy. I thought you shot very well. Um, you made a few mistakes, which is normal. I'm struggling um, with my cue ball. You're not a champion. No. Um, you know, you're you're not playing in the Moscone Cup, so you're going to make year. mistakes. <laughs> not this year. <laughs> so you're going to make mistakes, as would I. I. I don't even know if I'd have got a game on him. Um, I was happy to get one. That was kind of my goal. I wanted I wanted to not go Neil. And, um, and just kind of play him and see what I could do. I did not have any nerves playing Efren. Um, my nerves come from I struggle with anxiety, and um, the crowd is struggling for me. And so that's what I'm learning is, you know, all the people staring at me, looking at me, talking, things of like that, you know, it's, it's a little nerve-wracking. But I wasn't starstruck. I really had an amazing time playing him, and um, 
I'm getting back to the where I don't care what the naysayers say. Yeah, yeah. I had fun. So, guys, they you hear it just straight from the source. He had fun. He enjoyed what he got to do. Um, let's not bash any players um, nah, for getting out there, put, putting their hundred dollars up, and and getting a chance to play the legend. I did make it to round five as a 447 Fargo in a major tournament, so I mean, I'm okay with it. Yeah, I, I mean, played great. You, my two you played prior. well into last night, and we started at 9 a.m. yesterday. I got so. tired. I was really tired. I, I really didn't want to play that match last night, but they wanted to go ahead and get that one over, and I yeah. said okay. I was hoping to come into today and play. But These tournaments can be a grind now. Talking about a grind, yeah, this is a... Uh, I feel like he's just going to tap it, yeah. Yep, and get he's going to tap it, come behind it. Yeah, oh, that's mm. disgusting. So he eliminated the jump. All right, guys, so... Um, and Evan here's don't jump too often, either. Well, and here's what he's going to do. Let's go to the side view. And he's let's got the two-roller. Let's pull up the Telestrator. So you're going to see him do this right here, and he's yep. just trying to stick the three ball. And try to stick it behind the six, but yeah, he it got caught. a little out. Yeah. He wasn't expecting the six to roll as fast. And this corner table over here in the corner, um, it does play a little different than the other tables in the room. I think it's a little warmer in this corner. Over it here. is. It is. And so um, the table and is it also spin differently. It can also get colder than the it rest can, of the room. It fluctuates. Um, there's a vent somewhere around here mm -hmm. that uh, kind of blows right on this area. Mm -hmm. So yesterday, later in the night, once the sun went down, they had the air on. It and shifted. It got a little chilly in here. Yeah, it did. It um, did. It shifts In at fact, that was that was around your match. Um, it, did. it was getting a little chilly. Yeah, I almost went out and got my jacket, um, but then the nerves kicked in and I got a little excited. And yeah. the temperature rises. So. Well, and anytime you run around the table like that, you know that that that'll uh, that'll boost your body temperature up a little bit for sure. Um, make you sweat a little. That's actually what I do for exercise. I come in here in the morning times and for two or three hours, I just try to do a 15 second shot clock and just run balls for exercise, straight pool, Yeah. and just run balls. And you run around the table, that's how us big mm -hmm. boys stay uh, not bigger. <laughs> well, I used to be 340 pounds uh, three years ago, and I'm now at 180. Yeah. So um, I've done a lot of work on trying to get healthy. <clears throat> well, Jason's got a fairly routine he does. Um, out, but oh, let's, let's just uh, keep it Keep that remembrance that, uh, look at this shot. Look at the way he's and he playing spun, that cue yeah. ball. He just spun it. Mm, and he's just going to float forward on this one. A little bottom sure. right, right there. Just float it in. Yep. Yeah. I like his pace. I shoot with a with a with more of a uh, faster pace. And I tend to uh, not get in my brain when I do it that way. Definitely. So Jason Brown, Jay Bird, and Efren Batarias, even at one to one, this is a shorter race. It's a race of seven on the loser side. Um, both these gentlemen are fresh in the loser side. Efren had one match on the L's, and I think Jay Bird might have had one last night on the L's. I think he might have, but I'm not sure. Let's go look at the uh, bracket because he lost to Mr. Scott Raven. Yes, I don't. I don't know if he did or not. So yeah, he did. He, he did have one match on the L side. So both these guys are, are on their second L side match. The gentleman he played last night, Jeff Abernathy, he is an amazing player. So that was a uh, task right there for sure. We got a great break. And Jay Bird kind of pops that break. I didn't he expect does. him to follow through real so quickly. He's breaking it almost like nine ball. Now this is. This is a little tough situation here because the one ball is kind of center of the table. Obviously, he could bank the ball, but I don't think there's much of a payoff for that. Um, so realistically, I think he's probably just going to... Well, he, he went for the bank. He's a shooter, for sure. And this, is, this is why I said it. I didn't think there was a payoff. I guess maybe he can see that ball. Um, if he gets good on it, so he, he can, can make, make the two ball and he can drift into the five. Oh no, he's gonna have to. He's gonna have to stop come across the seven a little bit. He's actually hooked a little. Nah. I, so what I was telling Calvin last night, this camera can be a little deceiving. Okay. Just a little. I do think he has enough room to cross it. Mm -hmm. I may be wrong, but uh, uh, I think he's gonna be no, able to. Ladies run. and gentlemen, he's got a jump key. Uh oh. Ladies and gentlemen, uh -oh. he's going to the air. Look. Oh man. Is he going to get a good roll? Mm, is there a like gap the there? It looks like the window. Uh, 
as I for have the window. Can he tiki off the five and the three and just I, let it roll? I kind of like just playing the two ball into the five and letting your cue ball run behind the ten. But if he, if there's no window, yeah, yeah just he played like it that. your way. He just he didn't touch the five. But he, wow. wow. That was beautiful, Great ladies shot. and gentlemen. That's why he's one of the best that's ever touched a cue right there. And, uh, you know, having, even if he did have that window, having the uh, knowledge mm -hmm. to say maybe I should play safe here, so now that's, two rails. that's what makes him a good player. Ooh, oh, he so just barely close. missed it. This is a tough match right here. Yes, sir. That's what I predicted we've on seen, this one. We've it's seen safety with ball in hand and run out, and then safety with ball in hand and run out. Um, obviously, Efren uh, won the first game with uh, just a uh, weird shot there but to get control of the table early but uh last game we saw jason do the same thing so that's where he had to be on the seven he actually wanted to no so he's got the, the five. four yeah, yeah we might want to go with the four five first um, that's where he needs to be for well the he seven just dead it stops it so look here and that's where he can be because he's got just a smidge of an angle yep. so he can just drag up Right he's close to that nine ball. Bottom right spin on this. Though. He might even touch the nine. He spun it a little bottom right, yeah. just so he doesn't go over to the nine. That was beautiful. Now the key here is just to leave yourself something on the eight. You want to put it with a little bit of bottom. That way it taps and that eight ball out it, just yep. like that. Just rub the eight. Just a smidge of a touch on the Take eight the ball. Take a little short, little stab shot. And jacked up. This is not the That's easiest not an of easy shots. Shot, no. And. Uh, you know, being Especially able to execute that is, is key. Being over the ball like that. I struggle with those a little bit. I don't have very long fingers. <laughs> so my bridge is very short. I need to do the Earl trick. The fingers. Uh. <laughs> the, finger, the finger extenders. Wow. I'm going to try that. Good shot there. It was a beautiful out. 2-1 to Efren. With Efren breaking. Race to seven, ladies and gentlemen. I think Efren's big uh, thing here is he's kind of been... Um, Struggling with the break a little. I spoke to him in Spartanburg um, when we were up there a couple weeks ago, and um, his uh, his hip is starting to bother him a little bit. He's yeah. bending over the table and things like that. You know, he's he's getting up there in age a little bit and yeah, bending over the table 66. for how many years? I mean, how many years has he actually been bending over a table now? Yeah, and for hours and hours. Exactly. You know, so I mean, the the, the man needs a little rest. He's a little R and R. But when you you have a passion for this game. You just can't stop. I mean, I was in a car accident in April, and uh, I'm actually getting ready to uh, have to have shoulder surgery on the right soldier. Soldier. Can't talk today. <laughs> and uh, I, I'm not even going to stop playing until I go for surgery. All right. All Efren's right, going to break three. here. Watch the two ball. All right. The two is okay, but the one, that's, does that's, he have the window? That's what you're looking for on that, though. The, f the two ball needs to go all four rails and, and back get back around in front of the side pocket. Um, Skylar Woodward's break is similar. When it, the two ball's in the back for nine ball, mm -hmm. um, the way you're forcing the ball, you're making the two ball go one, two, three, and back up and sit in front of the side pocket. And uh, Efren's doing the same thing. The one ball was a little tricky, though. Because yeah. in nine ball, you're making that front, that, that one ball on the side, or you're trying to. You're trying to, yeah. Um, oh, he's he's going to come off the rail he's through come the off gap. The through the gap, off the rail. With a little bit of spin, see if he can stick it. And he's he trying to get behind that one the ball. He got it. He did get it. Yeah, he got it. And the jump's not there because it hops off the table. I learned that last night. Well, I don't know, because he's got enough space between the seven and the one. He can land... And just draw it back a little bit? Um, well, it, it, in that case, if you're going to jump this ball, you're just you're but just trying to make it. But he's going to spin. But also with the jump, though, he's out there in that table. So he spun it and go back around. Yeah. See if he can hide him behind the tens. So All right, guys. Efren Reyes possibly kicking at a ball. Um, he can see a smidge of it, but I don't know what he would do with it other than trying to run it to the rail and go up. Back up the table, get can, to the five ball. Can he face bank this one into the corner down here? A little one pocket shot? Nah, he went safety. He went safety, put him up over the ball. Yeah. And but this 
with that last one, could you have face banked that one over and be able to come down with the cue ball and go back up for the two? Yeah, I don't know if you. I don't know if you'd want to do that. Too uh, aggressive. I mean, he, one, I think the bank he's having to throw the bank, so then you may lose your cue ball a little bit. So rather than lose the cue ball, he's just gonna play the safe. And these guys have uh, stepped away for just. Oh wait, no, no, no there's Jay Bird. Uh, I think he's getting something. Yeah. I was looking for chalk. That's a necessity around here. Yeah, it's a necessity. So a, a controversial thing between the West Coast and the East Coast. What is the deal with putting the chalk upside down on the rail? I, I have no idea. I don't put mine upside down. I keep a, mine in my pocket here. That is an East Coast thing. So I think we're going to see the one ball go in and out back down there. Oh, he tried the oh, he shot. Tried the shot. He went aggressive. But he got he He's going to get a little lucky here. He's giving him Efren almost the same shot. Now, that's what Efren gave him. So the question is, do you go with option one? I think he does, yeah. Go with the run rail. Or do you go with option two? Option two, which which is the easier way to get your cue ball I, I based like, on the two? Well, I, I mean, I think either one will get you there. I like option I like one. one. Yep. Um, like one. Because the one ball is closer to the pocket. Mm -hmm. But with option two, if it bobbles, you've got this collection of balls that you might. To try to hide behind. Yeah, you might get hidden behind them. If you go with option two, which is going to be this angle right here, um, once you make it, once you do that, if it bobbles and sits right here, your cue ball is probably going to. Let's see, it's probably going to come up something like this. Maybe get behind that 7-10. Yeah, so if you get behind the 7-10 right there, um, you know, he has a chance to leave him bad if he misses it. But that's, you got to weigh the risk versus the reward. I think Efren maybe took a bathroom break. I do believe he did. While we're talking about that, um, have you seen our next match, Steven? <coughs> Excuse me. I have um, both of these players. I am huge fans of both of these guys. I have spoken to these guys many, many times. Um, you know, it's a it's a coin flip. Um, I have I'm a gambler. I love to gamble. Um, I have only bet against Sky maybe two or three times in my life, and, and it didn't so work out well for me. And it's so hard to bet against it Shane. Is, it is. I. Uh, it's, a f it's a coin flip, but there's a lot of money in. The middle already. I heard uh, a lot of money. Yeah, I heard. So people are are. Oh look, he's going with option two. He's going with two. Yeah, he yeah. likes the. He likes going long rail. And look, look what's going to happen here. Yeah, a little bit softer, and he would have left him. Yeah, a little tough. softer. Now, Jay Bird's got to. Let's see with these long. It's going to come off real fast. He's got to be able to kill the cue ball. Or I don't let think it run. he's going to try and kill it. I Just let it run. I think he's going to play it kind of easy, simple. Yeah. Oh, he went safe. Mm. We are going to have a safety battle, ladies uh -oh. and gentlemen. Safety battle. <coughs> yeah, but the Sky and Shane match is going to be a great match. Um, Does he have a gap there? He does have a little gap. Can he spin it? He's going to spin it with left. Yeah, he's going to kick right through there. Yes, he did. And, and we'll get a cue ball. Oh, not quite no. enough. What? But so here's I can tell you what's going to happen that was here. Beautiful between the seven. This there. is going to be nasty because Jay Bird's going to kick that one ball up the table and he's going to let his cue ball three. get right oh. here and make a nasty, nasty block. Ladies and gentlemen, if this works out for him, welcome to Alcatraz. Oh my goodness! Welcome to Alcatraz. How call disgusting that is in that? In jail, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, he's he's gonna have a tough one getting out of there. Guys, do me a favor. Share this match. We, we're, it's only two to one, and we're in a race to seven. This is surely gonna get pretty disgusting. So, oh, he may have been up on that three ball. Hey, Brett White, uh, congratulations on your surgery and hope you heal well faster. Appreciate it. Yeah, 100% um, free to share the stream. Uh, tag your friends a like pool. Show them what they're missing out on. We got 417. Yeah, we've we got quite a few people watching right now. We do have another big... Uh, oh, John Deathlifts, what's up, buddy? How you doing? I heard you got a, a perfect the other night in league. Uh, this is Steven, by the way. 
What is a perfect? Um, so we played BCA in East Texas, um, and so basically he won all his matches. Um, so the way BCA works in my area, um, you play one game against everybody, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and you only get the break depending on if you're home or visitor team. Yep. You always you only get the break either twice or three times. I'm familiar. So um, he beat all of his opponents. So um, he got a 50. Yeah, he got a 50. Congratulations, um, Mr. So John. He got a perfect there. I have actually, uh, I, I play very well BCA. Um, I enjoy it. I was out in Washington, and uh, the last time I played, I was 8.2 out of 10. Look at this shot. That, that was, was a beautiful. great shot by, by Jason there. I struggle with these on the rail. What do you use on these? So on this one, I'm going to use top right. Top um, right, okay. Because I want to go one, two, and out. Mm -hmm. He opted for the other pocket. Now, if it, could, if it goes, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. so... Had I known that, maybe I'd have played it that way. I still like coming around because I want to be on this side of the seven um, because I want to be able to just stop it and come back. He stopped um, it right there. He He's, can stop it, yeah. He chose the angle. For some reason, and it, see, I still like the angle. Um, I, I would have rather been a little bit another diamond over for, yeah. my, for me personally. But that's but why Jay Bird is a phenomenal that's shot. That's why he's still at the table and I'm in the box with you. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, I've, I haven't missed a single shot in the box. I just want you to know that. i got to be honest with you. I'm kind of liking it over here. It's fun. It's fun. It's a lot of fun, too, especially when you're getting to, to talk about these phenomenal players. And, and guys, don't don't think anything of it. These guys are both phenomenal. Yeah, if Jay you've Bird never heard of Jay Bird, it's only because you haven't seen him play. I promise you that. He, I actually, he this is my good. first time getting to see Jay Bird in person. He is a South Carolina native from Charleston, I do believe, or lives in Charleston currently. Um, but uh, seeing him in person, this is a first. I've watched him on the stream a lot. He was just in Louisiana. Yeah, so I was down there for that one. He played, well, he won the uh, the one ball, one pocket. Um, yep, yep. And then he placed very well in the one pocket. He did he very did. well. He did. All right, guys, so just to give you a heads up, the 10 ball does not count anywhere on the break. Nope. So if he would have made that 10 ball, um, it would have spotted up. Um, but I'll tell you right now, he's not going to like this. This is not ideal. No, not at all. And this is kind of what we're seeing here. We're seeing these guys clustered um, get into a safety battle. Mm -hmm. One of them wins. They break. And then maybe they don't have the best break. Um, things are hidden. They get into another safety battle, and then a player eventually pulls out and wins the game. Um, we're not seeing break and runs. I believe the uh, it's just down to patience. You know, you got to patience, patience, and execution. Eventually, one of them's going to run out. Well, let's see what Jay Bird's going to do here. Well, ladies and gentlemen of Facebook, we got 386. Come on, we got to bump that up. We, we were do over have to 400. Bump up. Hit that, hit that share button. It's 100% yeah, free to share the share stream. Button. Uh, if you belong to any pool groups, go ahead and share it to the pool groups. I got to do the same thing. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I, I'm in a, doing the same thing. I'm in a lot of Texas groups. Uh, I'm in, I think I'm in I an Oklahoma group. But if uh, I mean, if you guys are in groups, Let's I may not here. be in those groups. So go ahead and share them. Yes, yeah, so we have the uh, no BS tournaments and queues uh, for Augusta. This is oh, Mike. Nice. This okay. is the room owners here, and then call out action in Southeast. That's a good one for this area. And so, then, uh, have you seen this? Let me show you this. Yeah, go ahead. Um, since you Take have your away. Facebook open. Yes, sir. Um, this is a super easy way to do this. So, you're going to go search for um, OmegaBillards.com, which is where you guys are watching it. Um, and when you get down here, you're going to close that little live. Close that one. And then when you get to it, you're going yeah, to click on button. it. But watch this. So, we're going to turn this down. So, I don't back feed. And then you're going to hit share. And you're going to, so you're right here. Yep. Here's all your groups. You can just hit those share buttons I on those it. groups. So I love the shares. I'll let you do that one. Awesome. We're going to get it out there. Thank you, Donna, for watching. We appreciate it. Tag your pool friends, too. We're, all, we're perfectly okay with that. This I'm is one of my favorite. Make SC Pool Epic. Yeah. That's a really good one. Yeah. And here we go. Efren shooting the one ball. Made it a little tough. Ooh. I don't know if you can see that ball. Tim, are you going to come watch the Shane and uh, Sky match in Tulsa at Sandites? I was really hoping to go to it, but it, the match actually uh, got posted, and the times were just way faster than I thought. Yeah. I thought we were going to have Thanks, you know, like maybe like a month. Yeah, so, I mean, what, it was real you fast. Know, we, we kind of got it worked out, and uh, Super you fast. Know, boom, we're there. Um, I, knew happen, so. I knew it was coming, I knew it was coming, because they've been, uh, 
they've been back and forth and, and ladies and gentlemen this is respectable banner between these two they are having fun they're enjoying life they are friends and they're going to have a great match. But uh, and they're de but they're definitely not friends on the pool table. They're not I friends on the pool table. But I think Shane is still – I think his feelings got hurt that he didn't get oh, invited no. overseas. Nah, I don't think so at all. I think you don't think so? I think for, there's more the, to uh, that. And, uh, I'm not gonna really going to talk about it here, but I think there's more to that. Um, I will say this much. Um, you know, uh, Shane and Sky has kind of been working ever since Sky beat Dennis on the bar box. Um, mm -hmm. Omega Mike, um, the owner of Omega TV, Omega Billiards, um, he asked Sky, he said, what's next? And he says, I'm coming for you, Shane. And that's where all this started. Okay, okay. Look at that spin. That oh, my spin God. That spin gorgeous. Man, what a shot was that. Man, I'm in heaven right now. That's the best seat in the house. 452, guys. Yeah, Thank keep you for sh sharing. Keep sharing appreciate that stream. We appreciate it, guys. Let's uh, Let's show off these incredible players. So and the banner started a little bit back backwards a little bit, you know. That's awesome with Shane and Sky. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, yes, yeah, guy, what's next for him? Uh, you know, we had the same thing with Tony Chohan and, and Chip Compton when yeah. we did that live interview. I asked, I asked Tony, I said, I said, well, who's next? And he said, well, the game's got to be right, but I want Dennis. So you know, that's a, that's a possible game in it's the one future. One. Oh, it's look at this. Yeah, he got way short on this one, but. I believe he is going to fire this one left corner. I'm going to use that overhead view one, because two, it's three, very, very three rails close. Back around. He just pointed left corner. I said it. Yeah. He fired one of these on me last night. It's very, very close. So when they're this close and you're firing it big. The English doesn't take. Well, not only that, but you really have to have a pure stroke. Mm -hmm. A Which very, very pure stroke. We are talking about Efren Reyes here. Uh, William Shane's match next. Uh, SVB and Skyler are going to play July 9th through the 11th. Oh, that's over a big miss it. there. Yeah, he's going to give it to him. Yeah, yeah. very, very much respect right there. He knew he, he knew Jay Berg was out. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are at 5:20 in Rising. Yeah. Thank you very much. Guys, just to remind you, if you want to buy that Sky and Shane match, uh, we do have an early bird special going on right now. For the three-day pass, it is only $29.95, and it's live right now. You can go to OmegaBilliards.com. Um, that's the website, not the Facebook. Yeah, OmegaBilliards.com. Click that Buy Now button. You see it right there. Um, it'll look the same on the website. You click that Buy Now, and you can go ahead and purchase your pass. For July 9th through the 11th, Shane Van Boning versus Skyler will run 10 ball, race to 150 on the bar box. That's a strong one right there. Oh, Did that ball walked that? in the pocket. We're going to have to take another look at that one. That was incredible. That was a, that was like a Steven break right there. <laughs> and I'm talking about myself. He's not happy with that one. So my, uh, a couple of my friends I play with out of this room, um, they uh, had decided that my nickname is Mr. Scratch. Because I scratch a lot. Mr. Scratch. Which you saw, that's not a good nickname. That was the one I need to get rid of. Get rid of. All right, here we go. This does, and is the four in any issues over there nah, with the five? Nah, no, not, not none whatsoever. Nope, it goes nope, smooth. It's smooth. This should be rudimentary right here for him. Yeah, and, uh, you know. He didn't come back off the rail like he wanted. He wasn't happy with it, but yeah, he's still okay. He'll be able to roll forward and get in front of the timbal. Um, or at least, you know, stay on this side of it. Mm -hmm. um, he'll be just fine because the six ball's got a couple holes it can go to. Um, now he, he loaded up with a little bit of draw on that. Okay, so here you're going to see him put a little bit of top and a little bit of right, just a smidge. And uh, he's going to pull that ball around the table just like that to give himself some angle. He almost got in front of the eight ball. He almost did, yeah, but it slowed down a good bit. That's that spin that works for him. Yeah, four balls away. Um, we have seen Efren miss a few shots, but in my personal opinion, I don't see him making any mistakes. He's just going to drag this ball to the rail, shoot the eight in the side, and then the ten ball in the corner to tie it up three to three. It's going to make it a square four-four race once Efren finishes this. Now, with Efren breaking, I say that he did get a little angle on this, but. 
Uh, he should be fine. He's just going to roll it. Forward plays on the side. Yeah, I think he's just got options. He's just going to roll it. Slow roll it. Yeah. He ended up okay. Gave himself a little angle. You never want to be. A nice run. Nice yeah. run. A lot of respect. So, guys, um, also we have some other stuff going on here. So, if you... Uh, did you know about this? Did you know about our raffle? I did, yes. So, we have the Predator Q, the uh, Omega uh, Jump Q. I think we should well call this the, the Bumblebee Act. Edition. <laughs> the Bumblebee Edition. As well as the Acme Sport Case, all yellow and black. It's just $10. If you want to... Uh, get entered in that you can send ten dollars via paypal to money match promotions at gmail.com or cash app to money sign phil mmp um, just make sure you uh, just put your phone number in the notes and uh, please send friends and family via paypal here we go Ephraim breaking that one almost caught the side oh, it's this coming is back for be a dry break. break yep no balls on the break. Now the t here's the here's the the nasty part about this. That six ball is just gonna in a really funky spot. It is. Not to mention Jay Bird's having to jack up over this over eight the nine. Eight, yep. So anytime you jack up over a ball, it is just difficult to get your position where you want to go next in your cue ball because you're limited on where you can touch the cue ball. Exactly. Um, and for us short players and short fingers, it's difficult rising up over. And the Jay Bird has a. Uh, Actually, that's just great smooth it in, yeah. It. it makes it a little tougher. Okay. I, mean, I don't think it was ever a huge issue, but it does make it a little tougher. Yeah, he went completely over the center of the ball. He had the side of it. Jaber rocking the game tight apparel for Tony Chohan. Definitely. A great uh, Juan, if you're wanting to get involved in that raffle, just go ahead and, and send... Uh, uh, ten dollars. It's ten dollars per ticket, guys. If you want to get involved in that raffle, it's ten dollars per ticket, and you're gonna send that information via PayPal or Cash App. Okay, PayPal or Cash App. Ten dollars per ticket. We'll, we'll, do, a special we'll do a special five for fifty. Yeah. Uh, that's not a special, <laughs> sir. Uh, that's a pool player special. Yeah, it's a pool player special. That's a, it's a, that's a gambler special. That's a gambler special. That's right. Yeah. Five for 50, uh, 10 for 100. 10 for 100, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We can add today, Steven. Yeah. Now, this has got to be a special treat. you got two Stevens in the booth. Come on. I'm telling you. Man, I, I don't know what he's going to do with this six ball. I don't know neither. Uh, he's going to have to, I mean, play. He's got. I would think play safe. He's got to go from... Can he excessively draw this ball back to get to the six? I mean, he can definitely draw, and he'll be able to set himself up for a safe. He's going for the draw. He's yeah. going for the draw, ladies and gentlemen. I like the draw shot. And look at the spin on the cue ball. Yep. Did he get in front of it? <sighs> ladies and gentlemen. He did. He has a shot. But, I mean, he's not going to take the shot. He's going to play he's safe. He's going to play safe, yeah. but he, he, he got there. Oh. He left the edge of it. Efren can spin this. He might... No, he's going to kick it. Oh. Two rails. Yeah, if he can get behind this ball and kick and stick, that would no, be pretty it's nice. It's going to follow, though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so here's the thing. It followed and it left Jay Bird an angle to the to the left, but he needs to go to the right, so he's going to have to put some uh, he's gonna have to spin and come put down. some kapow on that one. He hit that one really well. He did. <laughs> Yeah, he plays the game well. He's a all-around player. Plays one pocket very well. But uh, I think bar box, he's definitely one of the favorites in this area. And he'll tell you flat up, he's not a rotation player. No. Um, he he enjoys the game of one pocket a lot. He's a very good one pocket player. Does he play banks? I'm sure he does. I'm not sure if it's his favorite game. You know, it's. I don't think he's a. Uh, He's the Mike DeLauder of Banks, but... Um, oh, my Lord. Don't get me started on Mr. DeLauder. <laughs> Hello, Mike DeLauder, if you're in the room. Uh, you're an amazing banker, sir, and a person. He's uh, a fantastic that run out. Hey, let me tell you, we uh, we bet him. Uh, I'm sure the videos have been seen, but uh, it's happened now three years in a row where he's gotten bet on the uh, throwing the golf ball over mm -hmm. the train tracks onto the top of the parking garage. Mm -hmm. and we took that bet while we were down there. Um, and if you've never been to Buffalo's in uh, New Orleans, right outside there is a uh, an elevated train track. It's probably a hundred foot up, 
and then across the street, which is, I would say, 100 yards from the front door of Buffalo's, there is a, uh, a parking garage, and that's probably, I'd say, 150 foot up. Um, it's big. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mike DeLotter will take the bet from anybody that he can launch a golf ball over the train tracks and onto the top of the parking garage. Uh, the funny story is... Uh, it's just personal preference, Andy. Uh, visor, headphones, you know, uh, just comfortability, I'm sure. So the funny thing is, the first time Mike threw that golf ball, it goes over the train tracks and it hits just under the wall. We heard it hit. So, so he lost that bet. The crazy thing is, we've got somebody down there and it hits the wall, then it hits the ground, then it bounces back and hits the ground on the other side of the guy. And then it bounces this way, and it bounces kind of crisscross back, and it rolls across the train tracks and ends up about three and a half foot from where Mike threw it originally. Wow. And there's a lot of space in between that. It came right back to him. Uh, we we've, like we were a boomerang golf ball. It was crazy. Um, you know, we, we were more impressed with the fact that the ball came back to him. Um, then he actually then, got it over the tracks. Then the actual, you know, yeah. getting it over the train the tracks. Task. Mike's a, a very, very athletic uh, person. He, he's a, he a very has. athletic person. Um, and he's so one throwing of the that golf ball is strong. That, um, that I've had the pleasure of being around. Him and Jay Hall, they make me laugh. Oh, no. But multi row banks, um, Mike DeLotter is one of the best people I've ever seen. I think they were playing either uh, 20 or 50 a rail in New Orleans, and I think he cleaned up pretty good. I know him and Billy went at it. I don't know where they were at when they went at it, but they went at it for uh, many hours. I'm sure. And Billy's a great banker, and so is Mike. Um, I think Mike came Did out uh, not oh. good on that one on the end of it, but uh, it wasn't bad. But yeah, it, it absolutely insane banking ability. Uh, and speaking of banks. banks he didn't really Jeez. have the good angle yeah, there. The um, he so did. he just banks the four ball using the six ball as a little cushion. And he actually, that's better because he got the six off of the point right there. So he has no issue now with the six. Cookie, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you're back up and running. I, I may see you in a week or two. Um, yeah, Birmingham, Alabama on Mike and Billy. Do you know how that turned out, uh, Cookie? I think Billy was up just a little bit, not much, from what I was told, from what I heard. But you know rumors. Um, Can't believe rumors. I thought that ball was going to slow down a little bit, but he ended up okay. He still got a little bit of an angle. This is a big game for, for Jaybird right here. It is, yeah. It puts him up uh, by two, go. and he's breaking. Yeah, up by two, needs two to win, and he gets to break. And he's getting uh, comfortable. This is... Who is a favorite still in the winners? Uh, ben Brady. There's quite a few really uh, good players. Um, BJ Usri. I, I can't. I can't so pick any specific player. Favorite. But I will tell you, um, Curtis Whitaker is a great player. Yep. Uh, Doc is a great player. We have Roland Garcia. I'm not familiar with Jamie, but he's in the winner's side, so clearly he's. I'd have to see Jamie's face, but uh, I'm still learning putting faces with all the names down here. But uh, the, the you know the biggest names are probably going to be Curtis Whitaker, Roland Garcia. B.J. Essery, Scott Raven, who are playing Robbie, next, Robbie and Shelley. then uh, Robbie Shelley is a big one also. Um, we still got a little ways to go. The next matchup on the TV table will be B.J. Usry and Scott Raven, um, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that match because I know you have some info on that. Yes. Um, but, uh, yeah. It's going to be a great match. Okay, uh, Cookie said uh, Billy won, I think, by two or three rails, so not a what whole I'm, lot. Uh, yep, that's what I heard, actually, so the rumor might have been right. And I do believe, if I remember correctly, it was over 36 hours. I wouldn't doubt correct that. Correct me on that one. I would not doubt that. You know what I love about hearing about those stories? I love the fact that these pool room owners... Uh, you know, they understand and they respect the fact that these guys, when they get into a grind of a battle, they may battle for two, three, four days. Mm -hmm. And 
you know, everybody's accommodating. They accommodate the players to say, hey, I understand you're in a huge battle. Of course, we'll make sure that you can play as long as you need. Um, and there's places out there that uh, maybe maybe it's not a thousand percent legal to do so, but, um, you know, bend the rules a little bit. Let well, the players do what they, you know, you know, do what they came to do. And uh, so if you're a pool room owner and you've opened your room up to l allow players to play those big matches, I applaud you. Yes, as well. Just uh, try to stay within the legal laws. <coughs> but the biggest thing oh is no. you, can't sell, you can't sell beverages out for a certain time. Yeah, of course. You know, I know water is okay, um, but you can't sell any type of beverage after 2, 2 a.m. Yeah. And that's just our laws here. And, that, and that, hey, and that's perfectly fine. That's the way it is in Texas. Um, you can't sell after a certain time. Yep. But, you know, there's some places that... It doesn't say it can't be open. There's some places that 2 o'clock comes, and they're going to say, nope, time to get out. Uh, I've yeah. been in a tournament uh, f waiting on the final uh, loser's bracket match, and uh, the guy who owned the pool room, and I'm not going to say any names, came to me, and he said, uh, he said, hey, by the way, um, y'all are going to have to finish this somewhere else or tomorrow because we have to close. And, of course, I understand there's legal things that are involved in that. Legalities. So we said... Okay, that's fine. Um, we ended up going to another pool room, but uh, uh, some you know some places say, "Hey, closing time, you got to get out of here." Yeah, and it, and it could be um, he had gotten a penalty, you know, penalty before, yeah, of course. You know, staying open, and you know this day and time, you can do something good for someone, but then someone's going to find a fault in it and rat you out and get you in trouble. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, so we can't make everybody happy. Just try to do the best we can for people. All right, Jay Bird got ball in hand here. Two balls in a nasty spot. He's yes. looking for a big pop out here. Spin it back and kick it out. No, he didn't. Uh -huh. Oh, he's, he's going to play gonna a combo. Set. Combo on the eight? Yeah, yep. I think it's dead. He's just got to control the two ball. Just roll it forward a little bit. Because he's got just a little bit of a gap between the two three, and mm -hmm. I think the two eight is almost dead. He's just going to give it a little roll. Straight. Mm -hmm. uh, not a whole lot of payoff there. It, it does go between the seven ten, um, but it's not... It wasn't great, but it and he worked it out. He's still got angle here. Yep. So you, he Come really wants to get flat on this four ball. He wants to be straight in on the four, I would think. There we go. There we go. And this is why he's one of the best that plays around this area. Uh, Billy, this is at uh, the Rack and Grill 3 in Aiken, South Carolina. Uh, 522 York Street. Northeast. Northeast. That's right. Yep. Phenomenal pool room, 15,000 square foot, 11 bar tables, 10 diamond 9-footers, a snooker table, a 3-cushion table, um, even a bumper pool table, mm -hmm. um, they, and, and room to spare around the tables. Um, th you don't have to worry about bumping into somebody. There's so much Plenty room around the tables. Yeah, tons of seating. Guys, if you could see how many people are sitting here watching this match. Did you see the wall over there? I did. There's two real dart boards. Yeah, not, I love it. Not electronic. Real darts. I love it. Yes, sir. Old school. Oh, Miguel. Let's roll. Man, I'm going to tell you right now. Jaybird on a roll, baby. I'm going to tell you right now, Miguel, you would uh, you would die in this place. <laughs> this it's, is it's a, it's a phenomenal venue, and I know how much you like one pocket. The one pocket. Table four. Uh, the one pocket uh, is strong up here. Um, there's one particular table. Now, do we um, do anything with the rack or do we just let it roll? Do what's that? In the corner? Oh, um, nah, I think the two balls going to go four rails around like that. That was just part of the racking ordeal. Three oh, corner. I mean. Not a big deal. Yeah, there. I don't think it's a huge deal. You. Yeah, this room is one of the uh, ni nicest and biggest on the East Coast. Oh, now you see that? He did not get a good break he there. He did not, no. But as far as room and accessibility, parking spaces, seating, uh, this staffing, place is awesome. the burgers. Have oh, they had, had one of their burgers. I, I don't, I don't eat burgers, but I did have a hamburger steak. Um, really good food. They have two different type of ones. They have ones that are infused with onions here, and they have ones that are not. And they are absolutely amazing burgers. Okay, he so we saved. see a miss from Jay Bird. Of course, John. I appreciate you watching, buddy. And I appreciate you sharing. I do see that you share the stream, so thank you for that. 
This is also the only pool room around here that is open at 8 o'clock in the morning and serves breakfast. Yes, they serve uh, really good breakfast. I had a sausage, egg, and cheese sandwich yesterday. Oh, he might. Nope. And you left him a shot He's here. He's got the 1 7. Yeah. They even have a little putt putt section back there for you to gamble back on. Did I you saw see that? that. Yeah, I, I haven't. I haven't spent a whole lot of time back there. We have cornhole too. Nah, I'm gonna have to go play some bumper pool at some point. I, I think um, you uh -huh. just you just challenged me to bumper pool, Steve. I did just challenge you to bumper pool. You got action, sir. Hey, Miguel. Next time I come down here, if you want to road dog it with me, uh, come on. This place is phenomenal. Um, there's, they've got really good food, um, really good venue, and the table time, like, I can't even explain how cheap the table time is. Um, there's a reason this is the Rack and Grill 3. They have two other locations less than 30 minutes from here, um, and less than, what, 15 minutes from each other? Yes. Um, the, two ago, the two in Georgia are close to each other. They're not very far from each other. Uh, I don't know, Miguel. Um, there was a little bit of a discussion about a, a larger scale tournament happening. So um, I'm going to talk with uh, the owner here. It's Mike Newsom. Um, yeah, they want to do a uh, grand opening. See event. what we can come up with. Uh, I heard a, a little birdie told me something about possibly doing like a 10K added. So that, that's a big one. Uh, I haven't heard that one yet, so I'm excited. Let's go. I got. I need, I need to practice then. I don't know who that little birdie was. I don't it may know have literally either. just been a little birdie. Just a little birdie. Came over and chirped. Oh, I got you. Chirp, chirp. Yeah. For sure, Miguel. You and Jen got to check this place out, man. You fall in love. But Miguel, if you go to my Facebook um, and friend me on there, there's actually, I've taken some live videos here of the whole room, and you can actually see everything the room has to offer. That's and they actually, awesome. if you go to YouTube, uh, the commercial yeah, they just did a, aired. They did a, uh, yep. a, a full commercial on yep. it. It just aired. Trying to bring some more businesses and betterness uh, <laughs> to this area. Ben Brady, I don't think uh, Jason's been able to hustle anybody in the last five years. Uh, Everybody knows who Jay Brady is. He ain't hustling is. nobody, but he gets action. Yeah, he does get a lot of action. And guys, let me tell you, the action in here is insane. I don't know names. I don't know the situation. I have no idea. I know names. Anything. I know the situation. Yeah, but we're not going to say it. Nope. But uh, I heard they were playing. that maybe it was what he, somebody somebody in here lost and um, uh, somebody else won. Over 30,000. Uh, I heard 58. It was. I know I it was heard, over uh, 30 I heard a pair on the uh, one. Two different yeah. games. Yeah, the two together uh, is going to be over 50. And then uh, yeah. 28. So $58,000 yep. lost in here in the last uh, two nights. I don't know how the last one ended up. I did leave last night at uh, roughly about 1.30. It may be a little less now but, uh, or a little more. I heard that um, he come back a little bit. It ended up at one or two sets up on that one or deal, yeah. so. And and that's that's two matches going on. That's yeah. not the two entire difference. room. One one pocket and one. Um, I also know that Roland Garcia and Mr. Jaybird here played a little one pocket. Um, Heard there's going to be a little alteration to the spot. There might be. Yeah. And there might be an uh oh uh oh. Heard wow. that uh, Jaybird would like to play even. That's what Jaybird said. Yeah, I don't think the, I don't think the even game. What was happen. the spot? I, I didn't see, hear the spot to begin with. Uh, eight seven. Okay. Eight, seven. So they played nine seven last time. Um, two so days ago. So you want to do eight seven now? Yeah, eight seven. Um, so why wouldn't you do meet him in the middle and do nine seven eight seven? Um, that's between them. Or eight seven. I even. just I just know that eight seven was agreed upon. So I got you. That's I probably the you. game that'll be played. Are we gonna do that here? Uh, possibly. Let's do it, man. Let's go. Yeah, I'll try. I'm. I've got my. Let's I gotta get my go. phone charging so I can uh, record that. Um, but yeah, Rick. Um, you talking about Jaybird? Jaybird used to live in Houston. Yes, he did tell me that um, yesterday. He used to live in Houston. Uh oh, there's a big miss. But he, by I do believe is he, he is lucky? from South Carolina. No, he's not happy there. This could be the end of the road for Efren Batarias. Yeah, looks like uh, Jaybird is out, and Efren may concede here in just a second. Eh, I don't, I'm not sure he's going to concede the last ball. He might. He might. He certainly he did. did. Respect. Uh, so, very big win there for Jason. Nice Jaybird. Jaybird.